Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today's tutorial will be in a slightly different format. Normally I shoot the whole video which can take me from 2 to 4 hours to complete the drawing and then I speed it up a lot so you cannot see it in detail. Today the drawing is mostly already done but I will show you a specific effect in real time so you can see it better. The effect is a light effect that actually we already did a couple of weeks ago in which I was asked to do more of it and to explain it better. So here it is for you. Our light source will be actually a reflected light coming from the right and a bit low. So we will paint the surfaces that are facing to the right and to the water. For this I'm using the light aqua from the Prismacolor Premier colors. I thought it could go well as a reflected light effect, since it is a fresh and luminous bluish green. I'm just applying it by the edge, I'm not going in with it very far. Not too much at least, only in a few spots. And part of the effect that I wish to convey of this uh, reflected light is also created because it will be the only color. The rest is done in black and white with the graphite. Let's also give some light touches to the fingers, to the tips, and now to some of the feathers of the bird. Of course, only to the feathers that are facing to the right and low, like this edge over here, the lower part of the head, and this wing, which is squarely facing the direction from where the light is coming. Like so. Very good. Also this surface over here, and this one, this cheek. I think I didn't mention it earlier, but I am working on a grey cardboard paper, which is not specifically for drawing, it is more like the ones used when framing a work of art. The list of materials is, as always, in the description below the video. On this area we can apply it lighter. And as I was saying, we are drawing on grey paper, toned paper. That is very important in order to achieve this effect, because if the paper were white, the light aqua would be darker than it and therefore it would not look like a light very much. I mean, it does not necessarily have to be grey, the paper or the surface you draw on simply has to be toned. And if you want the light to shine, it should be toned darker than the color you are using. I'll extend this light on the falcon just a little bit more. Please let me know if you enjoyed this format of the tutorial, in which we just go over one technique or effect more in detail and not so sped up or not, so that I do a few more tutorials like this. Not always, just every few weeks. And if so, in the comments, let me know which technique or effect would you like to see. Very good! Excelente! <laughs> we give it the last touches and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.